If you think you need to have the perfect morning routine to reach your goals, this one's for you. Here are just five things I do to set my day up for success. The first thing I do every morning is, wow, get out of bed. Notice that this seems self-explanatory, but for many people, the first thing is checking their phone. As fun as your phone is, we've seen that it can distract you for a surprising amount of time, so getting up and drinking water is your first win of the day. To avoid endless scrolling, you can keep your phone on airplane mode. I used to also think that I needed to wake up at a consistent time, but as long as I get about eight hours of sleep, I'm Gucci. Some days I wake up at seven and other days I wake up at eight and some people think I'm successful, so that proves you don't need a 6 a.m. schedule. Some days I eat right after I brush my teeth, but not today. No, not today. Another week. And I am sloppy, so I forgot to make my bed. Haha. <laughs> yes, everyone says that making your bed is the first accomplishment of the day, but you know, it's gonna get messy that night again anyway. Ooh. Ooh. My eyes are always a little poofy in the mornings. Look, I woke up with this eye being a double eyelid too. <laughs> always a nice surprise. I always think of random ideas, so I'm just jotting them down before I forget. Guinness world record holder David Goggins was on his deathbed when he realized, hmm, maybe I should stretch for once. That's because even as an ultra marathon runner, he almost never stretched. Turns out stretching saved his life. Isn't that crazy? I've had back problems since college and stretching helps a lot. These are all the reasons why I stretch so much now. If I feel like it, sometimes I'll go to the gym in the morning, but recently it's been pretty cold outside, so I haven't been doing that. Ron Weasley. Ron, Severus Ron Snape. Weasley. Snape. I used to drink wheatgrass, but I ran out. So now I'm drinking this little guy. Oh my gosh. This is tiny, but mighty, literally, because this is actually the most super, super food thing I've ever had. Let me read you some of the very fancy ingredients. That's how you know it's good. The first ingredient of this proprietary energy blend is ashwagandha root. This reduces stress and anxiety. I don't tell myself that I'm stressed mentally, like I'm not thinking I'm stressed. In the past, I did feel like sometimes a tightness in my chest of like, oh, internally my body knows there's a lot to do and maybe not that much time. After drinking this for about like two weeks or so for the 14 days of magic challenge, I think it's been better. Rodilla Rosea. That actually helps with both mental and physical endurance. I like working out a lot. I work out my brain as well as a consultant. So this thing is just pretty amazing definitely recommend another reason i started drinking magic mind is because with every view generated with this hashtag we can get money donated toward the reforestation of the amazon rainforest so help save the rainforest by posting something too and yay i have a special code for you guys so you can save money on your first purchase of trying this super food drink also the creative contest is still going on there haven't been many submissions yet, so shoot your shot. Shake, 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 sonata, shake it off of me. Oh. I honestly don't do a lot of millionaire morning habits like meditate, journal, etc. So I want to show that you don't need to do those things to be successful. What helps is to focus on a few simple, easy things like eating an easy breakfast. I mean, healthy breakfast. <laughs> we forgot to do the dishes, so I'm using a little spoon. Little spoon for little person. What is this thing we are eating? Jonya. In <laughs> English. It's called fermented glutinous rice. Yum, yum. Sure, I do meditate, but truly I'm not that consistent and I don't oh. want to put additional pressure on myself to do a bazillion things in the morning. This looks so scary. It is Halloween after all. It's taking me forever. <laughs> it's better to just keep the healthy mindset of wanting to do things that are good for you. And that could be different for everyone. The small things when done consistently make a big impact and make it easier to do them consistently anyway. Something also good for you is not staying up the night before if you don't need to. When you're scrolling on your phone, think to yourself, is this good for me? And if the answer is no, then that can help you pull away and go to bed. When you stay up unnecessarily, then that could jeopardize how good your morning is, affecting the rest of your day. Oh, it's pretty so yummy.
Remember that the quality of your morning starts the night before. To get that awareness of how my day is going to go or how I want it to go, I review my calendar and to-do list. Even though I set up what I'm gonna do on my Google Calendar the night before, I want to be flexible and adapt to new situations. So I reprioritize as necessary. Definitely recommend because you can easily add tasks and it's pretty fun to move the colored boxes around. The goal of planning is to make things less stressful, not more stressful by feeling like you have to stick to the plans. Work, 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 do the same. Honestly, besides my work meetings, I think of my calendar more like a loose outline of my day. Very ironic because I almost missed my check-in meeting since I was filming this vlog. <laughs> All right, it's your turn. What are the five things you will do every morning? I'd love to hear. Being uber productive like all those gurus probably gonna likely lead to burnout. This is how I redefine productivity so I'm never burned out. Remember to check out the link to help save the rainforest and the creative contest which i'll be judging i'll be announcing the winner on instagram reel so make sure to follow me there